So yung title po na ating talk is Reroots. So yun nga po, yung pag-iibang daan. Tell yes. us a little bit about yung naging trajectory ng career mo. I took up speech communication to yung minor ko theater arts in UP. And then I tried to pursue that after graduation. However, it wasn't very lucrative. Financially, it was really unstable. I made a decision that I have to give it up. And I said, no, I can't do this because I have to support myself. I needed to get a job where I can pay my rent, I can pay for whatever I need without bothering my parents. So I had to give up theater for quite a long time. But I stayed on with dancing. I was doing part-time work connected to dancing, teaching dance. I was really very thankful in 2017 when I was finally given a chance for the full scholarship this time. So I was so happy and I said, okay. And at that time, I remembered I was going through a very uh, difficult time emotionally. It was, a, it was a very difficult time for me. And then this came along and I was really very thankful. So it was almost like, alam mo yung feeling ko na nung time na yun, God can see you. God, God, well, he, he looks at you every, every day. I have this conversation with him every day. But then on that, during that time, it was really a perfect time to actually be given that opportunity from teaching to, to dance anthropology. And I was so happy because it was something that I really wanted. So I wanted something connected with dance. I wanted something connected with research. I wanted something connected to our culture. And then it was financially provisioned. So I, everything was covered. So I was really happy. I think very, very critical yung mga na-share mo sa amin na nuggets doon. You know, number one, yung determination mo to keep your promise to your parents. That's so laudable. Tell me a little bit about yung mga passion projects mo. With the painting, um, I paint before. I paint. I sketch, I, I draw for fun, parang hobby siya. And then later, when I was pursuing na dance anthropology, I thought that, okay, I really want to take dance on a different stage baga. So I wanted to take dance in a, in a different arena. So that's where the visual arts came in. So I started painting because I'm, I'm more on educating about the conservation of our ICH, Intangible Cultural Heritage. So I wanted to paint dancers or dancing in the Philippine dancing. I started with that. Originally, there was supposed to be a little exhibition about the, the Mindanao dancers, but then COVID happened. And so a lot of projects na canceled. Also, there's the other hustle na ginagawa, like uh, the translation work, the research work that can be done on at home. But I pursued, I continued later on sa pagpipinta. But this time, I did the commission work. Kasi nung, when COVID happened, a lot of things were put, put on hold. Hindi ako makapag-field, hindi ako makapag-perform on stage, I couldn't attend events. So, during quarantine, I was just at home. Ako, sanay ako nagtatrabaho. So, I didn't like the idea na wala akong ginagawa. So, I had to find other means on how I can actually earn money. So, Ang ginagawa ko ngayon, I diversify my income para hindi totally zero. Kasi it's important that for me then na I'm also contributing sa household. I don't like the idea na wala akong binibigay. If you put your mind to it and you utilize your, you know, like some creativity, you can mm -hmm. also find other means, right? Like to earn an income by being an artist. Dance work is slated to be exhibited in Austria. How, how, uh, yeah. you know, Hopefully how amazing, it right? Yeah. 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 Yun, yun, yun eh. You have to find a way. It's so exciting yung bagong book po ni Den. Share a little bit about yung uh, journey mo of creating that book. It took me nine years to actually <laughs> complete and make it happen. Harriet Patton her hat. At that time, I was teaching kindergarten and I thought we had this reading sessions. And then every time we had reading sessions and I use a book, lagi akong may parang 
sana may ano sana ganito sana mas malaki yung book sana mas colorful sana mas ganitong font yung gamit yung lahat ng sana eh inapply ko in in making this but it took a long time kasi I had a lot of excuses. Yung mga excuses ko, I have no time to do that right now. I can't illustrate this. I can't, you know, I, I can't finish the story. And dami-daming excuses. But it all boils down to fear. Takot ako sa possible outcome or takot ako sa failure. Finally, 2020 happened and I said, okay, this has been there for a long time and I have to do something about it. Just get it out there then. And yun yung sabi ko sa sarili ko. So, my expectations for the book was uh, pretty low. I know na it's very difficult to tap the market. Alam mo yun, no one knows you. No one knows what you what you can present, what you're about to show to people. Ang sa akin, when I started the picture book project was, my expectations were not high, but I did hope for good things to happen. So, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad na maganda yung reception, yung mga reviews, feedback from people. Because I'm very... I like it, you know, when you get insights and I always ask, oh, what do you think? You, you can tell me anything. It can be a bad review, a good review, you know, just be honest. Because it's also a way for me to learn and improve my craft. The book does not only just relay one particular message. It touches other messages also. It's not just about being a hero, but also self-care. It also talks about sustainability, about developing your skills, you know, and diversity is there and that's something that i think is important that young people should be introduced to because i believe that children are more perceptive than what we give them credit for when i said okay i'm going to write a book i want to talk about serious themes like big themes that um, some authors may not like to to touch base on because they are too serious or maybe it's not for kids, you know, that the the level of understanding. So, but then if you change it in such a way that it's done through the lens of a child, then maybe they it will become more relatable. Yung sinabi mo kanina about, you know, you've been putting it off, putting it off because mainly of fear. Takot, yeah. diba? Takot. It Kasi lagi, to that. Yeah. Yes, lagi natin iniisip, ano bang, ano, paano pag hindi, paano pag ganyan. And I love yeah. what you said about expectation was low, but there was that hope. There was a mm-hmm. hope because you know that your message is like important. It's so amazing the way that you encapsulated those big topics. Actually, because yeah. si Harriet Pat is inspired by real people. When I thought about her, of her character, na isip ko, meron ako mga tao in mind, and this is their story. And in fact, when I say I know a lot of Harriet Pats, because nga madami sila eh, madaming Harriet Pat. I mean, even you or anyone else listening right now might even think na, oh, may kakilala kong Harriet Pat. Or maybe I am a, isa ako sa mga Harriet Pat. I, I dedicated the book for my dad kasi he's the biggest Harriet Pat I know. It's a story coming from real people, real events. So amazing to know it's actually for your dad, like dedicated to your dad. Wow, that's amazing. And I love what you said about you know, bawat isa sa atin can be, actually, you guys, kayo, mga viewers natin, baka Harriet Pats din kayo. It's so much better to actually teach this person how this person can stand on, on his or her own feet. That way, you too can take care of yourself. Exactly. Check out yung mga pages po ni Miss Dan. So, the book then, and then Instagram, so that's on Facebook. Then yung Instagram niya is Dan Ramonal Art. Miss Dan, any last words to our viewers before we go? May you never forget to harness your own uniqueness. Remember, everyone is a hero. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's critical in your journey na reaching your best potential is to believe na ikaw ay number one, unique. Number two, ikaw ay pwede maging bayani. Right? Like in your own way. Everyone can be a hero. So yun lamang po, Dan. Thank you so okay. much. I'm gonna end this yes, broadcast. You're welcome. You're welcome. Maraming maraming salamat sa suporta at sa pag-download kay Harriet Pat and her hat.